Hello, BookTube, and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to keep this one short because this is the second video I'm making tonight, and uh, I, I have to go out and help with the kids, or I'm gonna get in trouble. Um, but uh, this past week, I've uh, I've managed to knock out a number of videos. I uh, did Dune. Uh, I'll link to this in the description down below. Uh, which uh, I actually finished way back in January, but haven't gotten around to doing a review of uh, just because of things. Uh, and then on the same day, I did a review of Bullfinch's Mythology. Sorry, my copy's over there. Uh, but that's another book that I finished back in January, but just haven't gotten around to making a review of. Uh, this week, uh, I've been working... Uh, sorry. I also made one more video on diagramming sentences, uh, which I just did now, which is a, a book I actually just finished uh, this afternoon and, and managed to get out a video review. Um, m my new system, I'm going to try to get video reviews done sooner now. I, I don't want to let it go for like two months after I finish a book in the future. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, so this week, uh, I finished off Diagramming Sentences. I've uh, been reading uh, Buddha by Tezuko Osamu and Journey to the West, Volume 2. Uh, I do have a bit of a book haul. Uh, I was uh, in town uh, on Friday, and uh, I ended up getting... Uh, I was browsing through the used bookstore, uh, and as, as I often do, I wasn't planning on buying anything because I was already, already have too many unread books at home. But at the same time, I was kind of hoping something would I, would... I would see something that would catch my interest that I would want to buy. Uh, and uh, The Adventures of Robin Hood Puffin Classics by Roger Lancelin Green. Roger Lancelin Green, I've not read anything by him, but I think... I forgot to research this before the video. I think he was one of the Inklings, you know, C.S. Lewis and Tolkien's friends. He did books on Norse mythology and uh, Greek mythology and King Arthur. Uh, and he's, he's uh, got a classic uh, retelling of Robin Hood. Uh, last year, actually, I think it was a couple years ago now, I uh, did uh, The Adventures of Robin Hood by Howard Pyle, which was a classic retelling of Robin Hood. So I thought... Why not stick with the theme? Uh, knock out another classic retelling of Robin Hood. Um, I mean, it's, it's called Puffin Classics, but I think it was published in the 20th century. So it sh should be fairly readable. And I, I think it was originally written for children. Okay. Then uh, Journey to the West. So, uh, yeah. Again, I'm going to try and keep this short. Uh, I, I didn't actually get that many pages read this week, so there's not that much to tell anyways. Uh, last I left them, they, they were staying at a monastery uh, that the monkey had terrified the monks into accepting them. Um, then uh, from the pages I read this week, while they were staying at the monastery, the monk was visited by a ghost. Uh, he talked to the ghost. It turned out that the ghost was a king who was killed by a Taoist magician. And the Taoist magician killed the king and then changed his changed his shape into the king's shape. So nobody knows that the king is dead. So the king has been dead for three years and his ghost is now seeking vengeance. Uh, and the Taoist magician has, has assumed his body and has been living with his wife uh, and with his son. But keeping the wife and son separated so they, they don't talk to each other and, and uh, realize that something strange is going on. So the monk promises to avenge him uh, and the, uh, help, help the uh, ghost get justice. Um, then the, the monkey uh, is told the story. The monkey goes up into the sky and is able to see that there's an evil cloud over this kingdom. Uh, and then they, they meet up with the sun from this kingdom who's going out hunting. The, the ghost had told them how to meet up with the sun. They have this elaborate plan to kind of lure the son out to the monastery and get his confidence. And I, I'm not going to go into all of that. The son is initially skeptical, but then he eventually is convinced to go and check with his mother. Well, where he does come to the conclusion 
excuse me, that that the person currently pretending to be their father is in fact not his father. And uh, that, that's as far as I got this week. Uh, again, it's not been a, a great week worth of reading, but hopefully next week will be better. And uh, like I said, because this is the second video of the night, I'm, I'm going to have to keep this short. But short, short can be good sometimes, huh? I, I don't need to ramble on for 30 minutes every video.